Hello, my beautiful forest creatures. Welcome back or welcome in if you are new. My name is Rose and I am the founder and the caretaker of this beautiful mystic forest community. So I hope you don't mind coming down and vibing with the tribe today because my babies, we are playing New World. So New World is actually in beta access. I was fortunate enough to be provided with a beta access key, I guess you would say, until August the 2nd to play this game. I actually missed the first beta access that this game went into originally, but I thankfully was able to get in this time around. So New World is going to be released on August 31st, and it is basically a new MMO, and that's all I know about the game. Um, I've watched some of the trailers, but the, I mean, that's literally all I know is it's a new MMO. It's a supernatural fiction story, and it's it looks incredible. It already looks so unbelievably incredible. So we're going to dive into this today. We're going to kind of give our first impressions and kind of see what it is all about. Let's get into it. Awesome. So already I am getting the chills. This opening sequence is incredible and the music is also superb. Like, what the heck? I'm already like entranced. I'm ready to like see what's next. So let's explore the character creator a little bit here. Um, now this is early access so of course we just need to remember that there could be things that are still lacking there could be things that um they are going to add in the future so just bear that in mind as we go through this of course um i did sign up to take the um exit survey basically when i stop this session so there is always a chance or a place for me to give more feedback if i feel feedback is needed but um right off the bat so this is kind of what the male character looks like the female character looks like and we changed their face so let's just kind of scroll through the options here we're obviously going to play a female character but i will go through the male um looks as well just to kind of see what we're working with so 
Yeah, I mean, this is a pretty decent um, start here. I actually kind of like how um, these presets aren't... Um, what you call them like the the mary or gary sue presets like the, they're each preset has kind of like flaws of the face if that makes sense like it, they look real they look like natural do you, um i really do like one might go with that one um let's go ahead and look at the male faces well just to get a feel it's um so yeah, there, there's a decent variety here already. Now, I guess the one thing that I know a lot of people are probably not going to appreciate is it doesn't look like you can actually edit the faces after you've picked them. So this is what you get. You get this, um, basically, uh, several options to choose from. What is it? 5, 10, 20. So you get 20 options to choose from for female and male, right? Or is there a different... So there's 21 here um that you can choose from all right so let's go ahead and um pick the email phase i think i do um want to go with this one <clears throat> I guess it doesn't really matter so um the creators of new world have already said or the developers they should say have already said that none of your uh beta progress is going to go over into the main game once the main game is out so i guess we don't have to worry too much about character creation but you all know how much time i can spend in a character creator it's bad <laughs> it's uh it's it's bad how long i can spend so let's kind of go with that and then let's look at the hairstyles. Okay, so already I am actually blown away with the hairstyle selection that we have going on here. Um, there's quite a bit. What kind of hairstyle is that though? Goodness. Um, but yeah, right off the bat, I'm already very blown away. We've got like a ponytail movement going on. It would be nice to see if this was um, animated, if there was physics to that, kind of like in uh, Baldur's Gate 3, if there were physics with that as well. Oh, I love this uh, afro here. Might have to go with that. Let's look through some of these options. So it looks like, which I really like that the developers did this. So. Uh, some of these hairstyles, you know, could be considered the male hairstyles, um, which I really appreciate that they included those with the female character creator. I am going to go through and just quickly look at the male hairstyles when we're finished here, because I just want to see some of the similarities, if there are any, some of the differences. Oh, I like that little side. Um, oh, I love a braid. I love a braided hairstyle. Um, but yeah, like I said, I'm, I'm already really impressed with this quickly. Of course, there always has to be a, always has to be some kind of funky mohawk going on. Love it. Cute. Well, okay. Let's kind of quickly finish off. Uh, okay. I'm looking. Ooh, that's a hairdo. That looks like me in the morning. <laughs> Um, oh, I love that little curly. Oh, there, another funky mohawk. We love to see. Kind of a, a mullet going on there. Very, very cute. Oh, I like this one as well. Really do like that one. Uh, so let me, let me go look at the male hairstyles very quickly here. Um, and yes, it actually looks like each um, hairstyle is available for men and women as well. That is actually very incredible. And I applaud the developers for that. It, it, it's, the, it's the exact same. Um, so you can literally create whatever character you would like. I feel like that that is a very progressive step in the right direction as far as character creation goes. Um, I really love that. And they made the hairstyles versatile enough that 
you know, these hairstyles do fit each gender. It, it's wonderful. It's fantastic. Um, so yeah, applaud, I applaud them, truthfully. All right. So, oh, we have to re we have to reset every time. That's okay. Um, I do like this hairstyle, but I'm kind of leaning towards this one as well. I wish I could kind of zoom out to see better. Um, really kind of actually going more for that one. And of course we have an array of colors here, which I also find fantastic. You can have anything from this uh, pinky color or pinky purplish color to like a deep purple to um, kind of like this mustardy yellow color. I always kind of feel like blondes get done dirty in video games because it just always registers as like yellow. It doesn't ever really register as a pretty blonde. So that is unfortunate, but I like that blue. That's really pretty. All right, we're just gonna go for something basic. Um, I'm all I'm all about that base. <laughs> I'm all about basic. Um, I also can appreciate that you actually can give your character, a, your female character, a beard as well. And <laughs> scrolling through these beard options, these are phenomenal. These this is this is wonderful. These are amazing beards, and I love them. Um, I think that is very very cool. All right, and then of course the eye color. You can have any color eyes that you would like. I always default for a blue. Like I said, basic, <laughs> pretty basic. Now we move on to these features, which you can have freckles, less freckles, more kind of on the nose freckles. Um, is that a birthmark? I can't tell because of her hair. Oh yeah, so there's you can have a birthmark. That's it's really cool. Now this is another birthmark. And then I believe, yes, now this, um, I love, I love, I love that they included this as well. It just, it's, uh, it's, the character creator is pretty diverse so far. Um, it's simple. There's not many options, but the options that we have are pretty progressive in my opinion. Um, so hopefully they do add more in the future. Let's see what the scars are like. Okay, the scars are kind of, oh, that's a nice old burn there. Um, the scars are pretty basic. I mean, they're the typical scars you would see in any, you know, uh, in any RPG. Um, I would like to see maybe more added. I know, um, uh, Dragon Age Inquisition comes to mind. I've just been playing that a lot recently. They have a lot of scars to choose from. I know you can mod in more, um, but they already have like a lot of scars to choose from as well. So I would love to see more of that added in. I believe Cyberpunk as well has a lot of scars you can add in. Those are just kind of the top two that come to mind. And then of course you can have your facial tattoos. Um, Oh, that reminds me of Dragon Age Inquisition as well. That uh, kind of like ornamental tattoo there. Now this one is really pretty. Is that a constellation? Oh, you guys know I have to have this constellation, but her hair covers it up. Oh, now see, I wonder if I should go for... <laughs> Just because of that, I wonder if I should change hair because it covers up some of the constellation. I'm going to still keep it. Um and we'll just kind of change the color. We'll make it like, we'll make it a brighter color. That way you can see it. How about that? Kind of make it like this. Make it like kind of this blue color, just so it's seen. We've got the scar and the tattoos. All right, love to see it. <laughs> All right, I think our character is complete. Um, so we'll just go on to the next step here. Now, um, I did already create a character earlier just to kind of test um and i believe you can only have one like if if obviously if someone chooses your name you have to pick a different name so we're gonna go with rose mystic that's just kind of what i go by these days and we're gonna create our character let's go guys
So we have crash landed on an island. We definitely look like a bilge rat. <laughs> we definitely look like a bilge rat. Oh, hello. All right, so X to draw your weapon, right? Um, right mouse button to block. Left mouse button to attack. And left shift to dodge. And hold for a heavy attack. Right. Awesome. Captain Aldous Thorpe. You come closer. Your captain needs you. There's something wrong. I'm not feeling right. What happened here? That devil storm. What in the nine hells was that about? And where is my box? I need my box. Did you take it? You build rat! That's offensive. No, I did not take your precious box. Something isn't right. To come so close. It's not fair. What? What's happening to me? I can't die. Not like this. Hmm. Well, you don't sound very good. Ah. It's not good. So, E to take all, tab to view items in your inventory. Okay, so drag or double click to equip the shield. We can double click. Quick? Sorry, click. So actually, what is this? One round shield, 100 gear score, 70 damage, three critical hit chance, 1.3 critical damage multiplier, 43 stamina damage, and 30% blocking stability. Tier two skills with strength, okay? Basic food, we have a light ration. Recover 40 health per second for 20 seconds. This recovery stops if damage is taken. Afterwards, recover 1% of your health every 2.5 seconds for 20 minutes. Right, so we have a shield and we've got some light rations. So I don't know if we're gonna have just rations for health or potions as well, I guess we'll out. Okay, consuming food or drink restores health, bound to... Th oh, I like how I just kind of like gobble that down in the middle of, <laughs> in the middle of everything, that's funny. All right, um, let's keep going. So already, I'm really liking this, uh, the graphics here. The, oh, I don't jump. I don't jump very far. I wonder if I can upgrade my jumping ability. Um, very basic movement. Judging. I don't usually do that, but I, I've kind of as I've been playing more uh, games over the years. I kind of do judge how much I like a game by how easy it is for me to move the character, because some games you, it's almost like you have to fight the mechanics. Okay, so combat. We can do a light attack and block. Oh, blocking. Right, and then okay. So we don't loot them, or they don't drop loot. Or at least not loot that I can see. Is there anything to loot in this area? It looks like we're not the only ship to... Drowned Sailor. Okay. Night, all right. Ooh. Now, do I have to be... Okay, no. I thought I had to be blocking to dodge, but I don't. That's good to know. Alright, so block. Hit me. So we cannot... Quickly scale over object space... environment is 
very stunning. Okay, block breaking, heavy attack. I don't know if I did that correctly. I, I don't think I did that correctly. Okay, sword and shield mastery two, purchase upgrades. Oh, wow, look how much we can do. All right, weapon mastery. Click the sword to view the mastery tree for swords. A pairing of melee focus weapons that when combined offer solid offensive and defensive capabilities. Utilizes a combination of arcing swings and lunges for the offensive melee attacks and a shield to maximize. Light attack deals 100% slash damage. Light ender deals 105 slash damage. Heavy attack deals 120 thrust damage. Charged heavy deals 160 thrust damage. What is thrust damage? Is that when I go forward with a thrust with the sword? Oh, wow. Okay, these trees are actually pretty large. Now, can we like mix and match or do we have to specialize in them? That'll be interesting. Oh. So we can do Whirling Blade, which is a cooldown of 15 seconds. It deals 145% weapon damage to all foes within two meters. The Defender has a cooldown of 20 seconds. A rush forward five meters, knocking back foes and dealing 125% weapon damage. Um... Personally, I'm never, I'm not really much of a defensive person. I definitely am offensive more times than not. I like, I like my hack and slash, truthfully. Um, <laughs> like, uh, it, you know, play, playing those games like Dark Souls or anything like that has never been my thing. I don't, I like kind of like getting the fight over. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm not patient is basically what I'm trying to say. <laughs> All right, so let's get the Whirling Blade and commit one point so do we get one point per level or is this one of those things where we need to start saving points so we can level up more find out. okay so this is an ability that is now bound to q it looks like so i can have q r and f bound for sword and shield so let's continue Auto run allows you to sprint and traverse obstacles automatically. Okay. I don't usually use auto run. I kind of don't like it <laughs> in any game, truthfully. Because I like being able to stop and look at my environment all the time. Look at this. This is stunning. Let's talk about how stunning. It's the light and everything. Is that a volcano? Or some form of volcano? It looks like the rocks are floating over. So there's life here. Where like where exactly are we? Is that it'll be do they have a um Oh I was I was looking for like a photo mode. I know, I know, I know. Rose and her photo mode, but I really was curious. Um, so a lot of my details are set to medium automatically, which is fine. Um, I kind of want to turn sync off for more for you guys than for me. That'll be bad for me if I turn it off, but I don't really notice screen tearing. I don't actually, if I'm being very honest, I don't really know what screen tearing is. <laughs> um, so I don't really know like what to look for. But, uh, yeah, I'm not seeing like a photo. Okay, well, that's fine. I'm not, it, it's not like a priority or anything like that. So we're sending to see the smoke. Okay, I want to go back up there. Can I actually get... All righty then. We're going into the smoky goo pit. Uh. Hi. Hello. Oh. 
Ah. Okay. I do not now, like that. I know the island's secret. Now I know true power. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh dear. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. We are not doing well. Wait. Oh. Okay. All right. Dodging. Oh, whoa. oh, 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 oh. Okay, dodging, dodging. Let's get back. Let's get back so we can dodge. Whoa. All right, all right, all right. Whoa, I'm getting stuck on stuff here. All right. Oh. Whoa. We are not doing well. Well, I'm not doing well. I'm not doing the greatest I could be doing right now. Hey? Can I? Oh, I can. I can. I can. Okay. I, for some reason, did not think I could do that. And that was, that was on me. Ooh. Keep dodging. Keep dodging. Okay. Whoa. Okay. Whoa. Uh, what? Did I kill him? I don't think I killed him. I don't think his health was down. Okay. So where am I? Soul survivor, investigate the watchtower. Okay, so now I'm I'm like in free room. Is that what this is? I'm like in free room now. Let's see what the I'm assuming that's the watchtower over there. Okay. Well, um all right. What's that? Flint. I picked up flint. Okay. Do I need flint for anything? I'm assuming I will. Alright. Okay. I'm gonna have to figure out how to turn that chat off because y'all know how much I hate like extra stuff on my screen. So it looks like there's still more drowned sailors over here. There's a fire. So this is like free room now. This is um this is uh yeah, we're gonna have to turn um the global off because there's like griefers. There's always gonna be griefers when you first start a game like this. Um so that's not surprising to me at all. All right, well, guys. So this is this is New World. This is the start of uh, this this adventure that we're going on. So we have access to this beta until August the second. So I'm going to be trying to get as much recording in for first impressions as possible, and then we'll kind of do a final thoughts at the end of the beta. Um, I might stream this over on Twitch this coming weekend, which would be the week. Uh, sorry if you just heard my talk, which should be um, this coming weekend, the 31st. So we'll see what happens. But thank you guys so much for watching today. I hope you enjoyed. If you want to see more videos from me, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you like today's video, go ahead and hit that thumbs up. And I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys.